I'm starting the tour of this house from the top level. From the front deck on the third level of the house, we have a pretty good view of the sound. This is the view that we would see from the front deck of the street. There's the house that I previewed for you yesterday. And here is the ocean view from the front deck of the house. There's the deck itself. And this door goes into the master bedroom on the top level. We have a king size bed. There's also a door giving us access to the side deck of the home which wraps around to the back of the house and overlooks the pool. And then there is a master bath in here, which has a really nice tile shower. So we're going to go back out through the master. There's only one bedroom on the top level, which is pretty standard. Dining. Definitely room for everyone that the house would sleep to sit together and have dinner. There's a TV viewing area over the fireplace. And another table for maybe games or... Okay, we're going to go into the kitchen. The kitchen in this house has granite countertops and there's a nice glass backsplash. Stainless appliances, lots of counter space, and a really big refrigerator. So I'm going to do an overview of the top level. Now I'm going to go out the door so we can see the pool area. And the back deck. Back deck has a lot of nice seating. I hope that you can see in the video, there's a good ocean view from the back deck. And that would also be uh, a side view from, possibly from the windows in the living area. Actually, no, I don't think the windows would, would get that, but definitely a great view from the back. And now we're gonna look at the pool. Definitely a nice big pool so you can swim laps. About the same size as the pool from yesterday and trees around the pool so you would have a lot of privacy from the pool area and again here's the pool itself and there's a grill down there so that's the top level now i'm going to go back in through the house and walk down the stairs to the mid level Wood floors in this house are very nice. And this is a tiled entryway. This is the front door of the home. And the washer and dryer is off of the hallway, right here on the mid level, so it has convenient access from all of the bedrooms. When you enter the home, the first thing you see is the mid level den. There is a fireplace along with a television and a kitchenette and a sliding glass door that goes out to the mid-level deck. This is the mid-level deck area overlooking the pool, and you can see that that's also where the location of the hot tub is. And again, nice, nice trees in the backyard for privacy. So I'm gonna go into the bedrooms on the middle level. There's a fireplace so that you can see that. It looks like when they built the house, they had the TV sitting in the, the space that was built over them and they've closed that up and attached flat screens. Granite counters on the kitchenette. This is the hallway that'll go downstairs to the game room and the other bedrooms. On each side of the middle level, there is a bedroom. This is a queen bedroom. You may be able to put a king size bed in here. Um, actually, I think that I think that you could. You would have to use a uh, more narrow nightstand, 
but a king size bed would fit. This is a king size bed on this side and this bedroom has access to the mid-level deck in the back which is where the hot tub is. This bedroom is a master and it has a molded bathtub with a nice tile backsplash. It's a really nice tile work in the bathroom and the floors are tile as well and it has a nice upgraded vanity. On the other side, there are also two bedrooms and a shared bathroom. Three of the bedrooms on this level would share this bathroom and we, I just left the one that is the master. This is a, a pretty small bedroom. It has a day bed in it right now with a trundle underneath it. You could possibly put a set of uh, bunk beds in here or maybe a duo bunk with two on the bottom and sleeping one on top. But as far as bedrooms go, this one is uh, definitely on the small side. And you can see the hardwoods. These hardwoods are throughout the house and they're really, really pretty. Again, in this bathroom, we have a nice tile. This actually looks like it might be a vinyl tile floor in here, but the, let me get the light so that you can see this better. The uh, shower has a nice tile all around it. So that you can see that. Then the other bedroom on this level has two bunk beds. Let me turn on the light so that you can see that better. So two bunk beds. So on the middle level, four bedrooms, three that share one bath and one that is a master. Now we're going to go down the stairs. And this is nice because it has a door between, uh, actually that's a closet, but I can open it up so we can see what's in it. Oh, that's the owner's closet, it's locked. Again, there's the front entryway. And this is, this is actually a ceramic tile or a porcelain tile. I'm, I, I'm in the bathroom though, I'm not sure if that's a ceramic tile or a vinyl tile. Um, this is the door that is between the mid-level going down to the game room. And this is nice because if you're here in the off season or you don't have very many people in the house, you can close off, off this level from the rest of the house. So going downstairs, We have a game room and this goes out. This is your access to the pool from the house. We have a full bedroom down here. Furniture in this house is, is uh, pretty nice. We have the same tile floor we had in the mid level. Let me touch this. Okay, this is, is um, some kind of uh, ceramic or porcelain tile. It is not vinyl. And again, this bathroom has a really nice, nice tile work on the backsplash. Let me back up so that you can see that a little better. Cause it really does look, look nice in person. And again, for the upgraded vanity with the beadboard look on the doors. Look back at the game room. And here's the last bedroom of the house. This is a, I believe it's a queen size bed. You could put a king size bed in here if you have a smaller nightstand. We're gonna go out to the pool level from here. Because there is a pool fence with the self-locking gate between the house and the pool, you don't need to have a pool alarm in this house. But that is code there has to be some kind of barrier between the home and the pool whether you have the pool alarm or uh, the gate that's uh, self latch self locking here's the outside shower and I'm gonna get the pool and it is really nice here um, having the trees around gives you a feeling of a lot of privacy from this level. That is a pool heater. 
This is an outside storage closet where the pool pump is hidden. There's the pump equipment. And there's uh, our bicycles and ladder, things that you would need, the pool cover. We walk out into the carport. This house is also equipped with a copper lock so that each vacationer is given a code that would come on at four o'clock the day of check-in and would automatically expire at 10 o'clock the day of check-out. Walking out to the driveway. This house is set back pretty far from the road. Again, there's the house that I previewed for you yesterday. I'm gonna get exteriors of this home. Turning around to look at the house. There's a nice vegetation border between the two lots of the house, this house and the house next door. You can see looking at the house that the decks have not been stained or painted white. Um, a, a lot of people don't do any kind of treatment to their decks, but painting or staining the decks, especially painting or actually using a white stain on the decks, will make the house appear a little more finished and it also makes it look larger. And when you're down here, we can just kind of drive by houses and you'll notice that the houses that actually have white decks do appear larger than the houses that have not done anything to their decks and have just let the wood weather naturally. And there's a basketball court. Some nice trees on the other side of the lot. This house definitely feels a little more private than the house that I previewed for you yesterday, but it does not have the uh, sweeping views that the other house has. Though it does have some, this is the view from the street. You do have an ocean view from the street, like we had in the other house. And we have a sound view from the street as well. And then this is the front of the home.